ever heard your long rambling stories? No, I don't ramble. Don't give me that look. <laughs> All right. Hey guys. We took a nap. We rested. Well, again. Yeah. <laughs> we took a nap. And we are um, getting ready to head to the San Pedro area, which is the fancy area, the nice area, because we're celebrating our anniversary, so we should go somewhere nice. Yeah. So we got more coffee, because we're going to make a night of it. Yeah. And we have to wake up early tomorrow to go to the next, uh, to go to that other area. So we noticed that this weather kind of, so we noticed this weather, it's really draining, right? Yeah, if you're not used to it, the humidity. We're not used to it, the humidity, yeah. So we've been taking a lot of naps, which really helps. So, oh, there you go. We're on our way. <laughs> Restaurant Pangea in San Pedro Garza Garcia neighborhood in Monterey. Um, it's like a fancy restaurant, Frank Bay Reservations. You can tell how fancy it is. The fancier it is, the bigger the wine glass is. You can tell it's a very fancy establishment. Yeah, it's like the size of my hand. <laughs> so, um, Frank Bay Reservations, um, we're here celebrating our third anniversary. And um, we got, so we started with a bottle of wine, uh, a little from Ensenada. It's a blend of Tempranillo, Cabernet, Cab, and Merlot. All three of our favorites. Um, it's really good. Um, so we decided that they so they have um, like a special menu, which is like either a daily menu, which um, you can choose like it's like a set menu basically. You get like an appetizer, a main dish, and you get to choose a dessert. And that's 575 pesos, which is about $30 US. Or they have a tasting menu, so it's like you get like seven, eight, eight courses, eight courses, and it's 1,290 pesos, which is $68 per person. And um, since we're since it's a special occasion, and you guys know we're usually budget travelers, <laughs> but it's a special occasion, so we decided to just. Go for the tasting menu. We've never done a tasting menu. Yeah, okay, we've, really yeah, we've, never, we've never done one before, so well, we figure why not do it now? Time and place to do it. Yeah. And the, the servers here are very attentive. They're like on it. And um, they give us some bread to start with, some pan. Can you say pan? Pan to start with, with some nice butter and drizzle with um, olive oil. I don't think we've ever had that. It's really good. So yeah, we have we have like ravioli with like truffles coming and mm -hmm. duck breast and some yeah. more baby goat and then some chocolate thing with goat goat cheese and cheese cream and beet, beet ice, ice cream. cream. Yeah. So we'll just as, as we get the our courses, we'll show you what we have and so you can enjoy with us. Yeah. We have the spice crusted duck breast with seared frog raw, smoked almond, hair karabe puree, and, and vanilla. Huh? That's the smoked almond, that's the almond one, but it's like almond mm. Yeah, mm. almond butter, yeah. So it's a really good pairing because it's got the, you have the duck, pre the duck breast with the frog raw. It's pan seared. The consistency, like, it's really different for us because I guess we never had it this way. The vanilla, I'm not really big on the vanilla because it's a little bit too sweet. But, I don't know, everything else is fine. Yeah, so far the meal's been really, really good. Yeah. I'm actually getting really full. 
We still have three more courses left. It was one course. It had uh, some rice stuff in it, and it has uh, escamole. So it's white asparagus with escamole. And we're like, yeah, okay, because we're eating it. And Sarah was like, what is this stuff? Like, is it oatmeal? Is it a weird consistency? It looks like oatmeal. And then uh, she Googled it, and now she ate ant larva. We ate ant larva. That looks like oatmeal. It was really good, though. Yeah. It was delicious. It's one of those things you want to find out after. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, halfway through, we're getting there. Quick fun fact. The first time Frank and I had frog off together was our one year anniversary in New York. Our one year dating anniversary in New York. Fun fact. And now we're eating it for our third anniversary, which will be our eight years together. Eight years together. Right? Yeah, well, no. Seven years. Seven years together. Seven Jeez. years. It goes really fast when you when you're with someone as charming and pleasant as me, you know? Breeze is right on. <laughs> Dinner at Pangea. Mm -hmm. Right here. Uh, it was really good. Delicious. Eight course meal. Uh, again, it was $60 per person. Uh, and we got a bottle of wine, which is like $35. Mm -hmm. So our entire meal came up to me like after tip. It was like almost $20. 20 US dollars. 200, yeah. Yeah, 20 US dollars, which is actually really good here. Um, because in the States, like something like that, what we had would have been like at least $500. Two, three hundred dollars a person. Yeah. So, and this was. Um, this is like one of the top 20 restaurants in all Latin America. Yeah. And the food's delicious, the service was great. Yeah. Very nice place for a romantic dinner. Yeah. So let's we splurge. Sometimes no. Rarely. Today was one that splurged it. Yeah, we did we did splurge, yeah. It was good though. Yeah. It was so stuck. I wanna watch it our next bar, but he doesn't want to. It's pretty far. And we we're crunched on time because we have to wake up early tomorrow because we're going um, to Cola de Caballo, which is like a big park and waterfall. And yeah, we're gonna get up early and pack up with we'll checkout tomorrow. So yeah. All right, so we're gonna Uber and head to the next bar and just maybe have a couple cocktails, like real cocktails. Yeah. En and then enjoy the night a little bit before we have to go to bed and get ready for tomorrow. Because tomorrow's our last day in Monterrey. Monterrey. to dinner, Pangea, mm -hmm. and then went to a bar called Maverick. Mm -hmm. And then we're calling it a night because we have to wake up early tomorrow morning. We're stuffed. <laughs> we're stuffed and uh, yeah. I think going to Barrio Antigua is more fun. Yeah. Cause, than well, cause San Pedro. It, well, yeah, because San Pedro is more like kind of, you know, more classy, I guess. So it's like there are more lounges than like bars, whereas in Barrio Antigua it's more like bars. Like you go like bar hopping to one like, place or more another. More of a party. Yeah, more like more of a party exactly. Yeah. It's like a younger crowd, and you know you get like the forty ounce bottles of Indio <laughs> at the bar in paper bags. Um, whereas in San Pedro, it's you know it's I, for us, it's you know we're used to that because that's kind of like what LA is like. Mm -hmm. Where you go to like a lounge and you pay like I don't know fifteen dollars for a drink. That's kind of like what San Pedro is. You know, yeah. really like 
um, like a really upscale lounge, basically. But it was a good experience, though. Yeah, it's really pretty there. Yeah. Yeah. Sarah's looking into it, and San Pedro is the it's like the richest neighborhood in all of Latin America. Yeah. Right. So it's, yeah, we thought we thought it was just like the richest neighborhood in um, Mexico. In Mexico, but it's it has the highest uh, GDP. In per person, yeah, per capita. Per cap yeah, per capita in uh, Latin America. So, so fancy. Yeah, we can tell. <laughs> yeah, we can tell. It, it, if you come, you have to check it out. It's really nice. Yeah, it's really nice. I mean, like the restaurant we went to, like it was really cool. Like there, the food was really good. It was really fancy. Um, like I, I don't know. I just felt like we were like the youngest ones there, <laughs> and everyone knew everyone. So nice. we got a tip from our oh, Uber, Uber driver, driver who spoke English. He said there's also some caves out here. We told him we're gonna to go to um, Cola de Caballo. This is a waterfall. And he goes, yeah, we do that sometimes. We go here and there, but he's like, there's these caves that you can take tours of and it's, he thinks it's more fun. So, so we're, we're gonna, gonna look, into that. look into that and see uh, if it's a good alternative. Yeah, so we're gonna do that tonight before we make our decision. Tomorrow. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Okay, I'll go to bed. We're tired. Yeah. It's been a long day. Mm -hmm. See you guys tomorrow. It's tomorrow. No, it's kidding. <laughs> <laughs>